hello everyone welcome back to another video on crack concepts this is the bonus video because you all love the five day series of the sql queries so here's the bonus video here i'm going to solve one extra query one tricky query so, and if you haven't watched the rest of the five videos make sure you watch it before watching this video watch those five queries that will help you in mastering sql even better this is the bonus query where i will solve the query write the sql statement to show the second highest balance for each account before i dive into this query i'm going to give a refresher on the entity relationship diagram and the tables skip it in in case you already know it there are total five tables account balance account type account type underscore d account name and names now as you can see there are lines between them so what this means is these two tables are connected via pk pk means primary key and these two are also connected these two are connected and then these two are connected and these two are connected. but these two aren't connected these two aren't connected these two aren't connected because there are no lines between them and if you want to see how they are connected always rem always remember that pk or fk will be written in brackets so pk means primary key and fk means foreign key okay so between these two tables what are the common table or common columns that you can find so if this is account underscore i and account underscore i so these two are common between the two and uh, and between these two between these two what you can find account underscore i account underscore i again is common between these two and between these two account underscore type underscore c is common between the two between these two um first underscore name underscore i and last underscore name underscore i and name underscore i these are common so also remember that primary keys or primary keys in two tables so suppose one is a foreign key and the other is primary key it does not necessarily mean they would have the same names they can have different names as well okay and um, between these two account underscore i is common okay now let's see the tables this is the account balance table which has account underscore i means the account numbers date and the balance amount then we have account type so account i and then account type underscore c so these are just letters then we have another table which is account underscore type underscore d so this has account underscore type underscore c means means these this column this and this column these two are common between the two so between these two tables account underscore i is common and between these two tables account underscore type underscore c is common so as you can see c d h s these are common and they have corresponding descriptions so c corresponds to credit card d corresponds to check account h corresponds to home loan s corresponds to saving account and then we have account name account underscore i again this is the primary key this is the common key between the various tables we have first name i last name i and now you will wonder why we have integers why do we have numbers in first name and last name we have one six two five three five four seven there should be names so we have another table at the bottom which is names and here we have these numbers one two three four five six seven and these have corresponding names so one two three four five is actually one means ross so ross first name is ross then we have six six is here which is carter so one two three four five account number one two three four five the name for account number one two three four five is i mean the account holder is ross carter okay so one six ross carter this is how the tables are interconnected okay so it's little complicated and the questions are also complicated and hence there's a lot of learning involved in these five videos that are going to come so stay tuned for it our query is write the sql statement to show the second highest balance for each account whenever you are given a sql query to solve try to divide the query into parts and try to solve those parts and then try to join it together as we can see this question write the sql statement to show the second highest balance this can be our first part and for each account 
this can be the second part of the question let's try to solve the first part which is write the sql statement to show the second highest balance now a very common interview question is write a sql statement to show the second highest salary that is a very common and important sql interview question i have a video on that as well i will make sure to link it in the description box i have two videos one is to find the second highest salary and the other is to find the nth highest salary so somewhere that is going to come into picture so that's the first part now the second part is for each account for each account means we need to categorize it we probably need to use group by so that's the hint for this query pause the video right now hit the pause button and try to solve the query on your own and get back to this video once you're done with that our bonus question is write the sql statement to show the second highest balance for each account now i'm going to write the query to find the second highest balance let's do that as i already said it will be somewhat in line with the query to find the second highest salary so i'm going to write that i'm going to start with writing the query to find the maximum balance select balance amount also one more thing write the sql statement to show the second highest balance which table has balance the account balance table has as you can see we balance amount for each account we have to use a c c t underscore i which is also in the same table which is good for us both the columns are in the very same table so we do not need to join tables or do anything of that sort so it is less of a hassle let's write the query now select maximum balance amount from account balance table and i'm going to give it a alias a2 okay this is our maximum salary and i'm going to write another query on top of this select for now i'm going to write star select star from the same table account underscore balance and I'm going to give it an alias A1 where A1 dot balance amount is less than the maximum amount. But I need to select account number over here and the maximum balance. A1 dot balance amount. Now, what is this query doing? This query is exactly same as the query you would write to find the second highest salary. What I'm doing is the inner query: select balance amount from account balance A2. This this query, this inner query, will find the maximum balance in the table, which is three four zero zero. Now, what is the outer query doing? Outer query is doing the exact same thing. It is also finding the maximum balance from the account balance table, but it is selecting that account and that balance, which is less than 3400. Why? Because of this filter that I've written over here, where a1.balance amount is less than this. The inner query is going to give the output as 34000. This query is going to return the account number and the maximum balance, which is less than 34000. The account number and the balance, which is maximum after 34000, which is 2500. Let me run it. There's no table. Okay, I missed an A over here and I'm going to run it okay oh sorry this needs to be a i sorry a1 this needs to be a1 because i'm selecting from this table a1 so it needs to be a1 and here's the output which is the second highest balance after 34000 that is 2500 which is our output and that is what our query is also giving but that's not what we want. We just don't want the second highest balance. We want the second highest balance for each account, for each, each account, 
for each a c c t underscore i which means we need to use group by now what are we going to do next is we are going to use group by over here group by and i'm going to use a1 because this is the outer query this is the outer query hence a1 a1 dot a c c t underscore i so we're going to group it by a1 dot a c c t underscore i but in the subquery also we need to add a where clause which is going to be a2 underscore a c t i is equal to a1 dot count underscore i now if we run we will get the second highest balance for each account for each account in this table only for two three four five six and nine nine eight two four we have two records two three four five six has two balances one is twenty five hundred and one is three fifty and for nine nine eight two four we have two records one is zero balance and the other one has twenty five hundred as the balance amount the rest of the account numbers have only one record hence they will not come in the output because we want the second highest balance output is only going to come for 2 3 4 5 6 and 9 9 8 2 4 and let's see if the output is right 2 3 4 5 6 has two balance amounts 2500 and 350 which is the second highest balance 350 that is that came in our output for 9 9 8 2 4 there are two balances 2500 and 0 which is the second highest balance zero and that came in our output which means our answer is correct and our query is correct i hope you all understood this query thank you for watching this video like share and subscribe to my channel crack concepts and i really hope you have watched the rest of the five videos also please comment down if you like the series and if you want more such videos more such series comment down comment down your ideas as well if you have any sql queries you want me to solve send me an email write it in the comment section that would be very helpful thank you so much for watching all the videos and giving so much love to it thank you so much and with that i'm gonna end this video